Tonight on OC News, a red flag warning has been issued for Southern California residents as powerful Santa Anos blow in. LeVar Ball puts his son from the UCLA basketball program and Cal State Fullerton's intramural provost steps down as a search for a new university president continues. All this and more as OC News starts right now. Welcome, and thank you for joining us here at OC News. I'm Stephanie Stevenson. And I'm Rachel Vito. OC News is brought to you by the broadcast journalism students here at Cal State Fullerton. Yet another change is happening at the top level of leadership for Cal State Fullerton. Interim Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Anil Peru, is stepping down, effective at the beginning of next year. This comes after President Garcia's announcement last month that she will be leaving the university after holding her president position for six years. Peru, Peru has been serving as intramural provost since July 2016. Earlier this year, he removed himself from being a candidate as a permanent provost. He will now serve as director and dean of the Woods Center for Economic Analysis and Forecasting. President Garcia thanked Puri for his selfless service to Cal State Fullerton, and Garcia is confident that his decision will be the right one for him and his family. But here's the bigger issue. With President Garcia leaving the university, and now Puri has announced due to his inability to commit to the search of a new permanent president to replace Garcia, he will also be leaving. And with a new interim provost announced to hold his position, how will the how strong is the leadership at our university? And why are a majority of our administrators on campus interims, on campus interims rather than holding a permanent position? We see a constant swap of interims being moved to other interim positions. Another example of this is Kareen Knutson Miller, who is Dean of the University Extended Education and Associate Vice President of International Programs and Global, Global Engagement. She has been appointed she has been appointed provost for a two and a half year term while the university searches for a new president. Nuts and Miller starts in January and will be part of the search team for a provost to replace her current position by the end of the year. A fire ignited near a residential area on Riverside on Monday. The fire started at Southern California is under a red flag warning due to strong Santa Ana winds. L excuse me, the blaze was reported shortly after 1 p.m. at the intersection of Julian Drive and Crest Avenue. A dozen homes between Crest and Shurupa Avenue have been evacuated. Ten acres have been reported burned so far. And now an update on Orange County weather from our jolly holiday weatherman, Lucas Dare Magaguchian. Thanks, Stephanie. Hello, everyone. Happy holidays. It's great to be here on OC News again. Let's just hop right into it. We're going to skip all the national news today because we got some big things going on right here in Southern California. Let's go ahead and take a look at our five day. Tuesday is gonna be 74, it was kinda cool for the beginning of the week and then Wednesday it's gonna hop right up into the 80 degree temperatures and it's gonna stay like that all the way like for the end of the week until we hit 85 degrees on Saturday. But be prepared, those temperatures are gonna be nice and cool in the evening. It was nice and cool last night. I had to grab my sweaters, I was putting on my Christmas lights. So it's, it's, it's nice, we have a nice balance of warm and cool. So we're getting a little bit of those seasonal changes but we're still staying hot. Now, if you're wondering why it's hot, it's because Santa Claus isn't coming to town. Not this year, ladies and gentlemen. No, we're getting the Santa Ana winds. That's right. We can see all the Santa Ana winds right here, especially in the Southern California area. And what's causing it, and I don't know if you remember, but I talked about the jet stream, the whoosh from last week. So the jet stream is pushing down the winds into the Southern California area, which is causing a red alert for the fires. That's why we see the Riverside fire going on right now, causing the evacuations. So be on the lookout. It's gonna bring some pretty high winds, especially in the evening. Winds in non-mountain or canyon areas could reach up to 70 miles per hour, 80 miles per hour if you're in that you know, coastal or canyon area as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at our current temperatures right now. 66 currently, it's gonna get down to 50, degree, 50 degrees Excuse me, by the end of the night. Winds 12 miles per hour right now. Those are those Santa Ana, win Santa Ana winds. Uh, humidity only 9%. Sunset 442 today. So just be on the lookout, ladies and gentlemen. The holidays are going to be nice and fun while you're enjoying yourself this week. Be on the lookout. You might see some downed power lines and overturned trees just because of those Santa Ana winds that will be carrying on all the way through Friday. That's all I've got for weather today. Back to the ladies at the desk. 
Over the weekend, an unsettling incident occurred on Troy High School property. Nathan McHugh is live on the scene with the latest. A part-time wrestling coach at Troy High School was arrested for allegedly having an intimate relationship with a female student. The suspect has been identified as Garrett Granger, 20-year-old 20, 20 Garrett Granger. Police say he was found, uh, he was seen with the student on Friday by another employee of Troy High. If anybody has any additional information about the case, please contact Fullerton Police Family Crimes Detective L. Garcia at 714-738-6358. Reporting for OC News, I'm Nathan McHugh. Today, the Supreme Court is allowing President Trump's latest version of the travel ban to take effect. The court voted 7-2 to two in favor of the ban, allowing the Trump administration to fully enforce the ban on travel to the United States by residents of six predominantly Muslim countries. Justice Sonia Sotomayor, along Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, both dissented that ruling, saying that she would have simply dismissed the case and allowed the appeals court decision to remain on the books. Monday's ruling isn't the final decision, but this action indicates that the Supreme Court might eventually approve the banning of people traveling to and from Chad, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen. In a statement, Attorney General Jeff Sessions called the court's decision a substantial victory for the safety and security of the American people. After the break, the drama continues to unfold between the Ball family and UCLA pro basketball program following the China stealing scandal. And Cal State Fullerton's campus prepares for finals week. Stay tuned. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs? Just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. It was a star-studded night in Los Angeles last night with the Lakers in action. Let's turn to Frank Verdarte, who has more in sports. Last night at Staples Center, the Lakers took on the Western Conference foe, the Houston Rockets. Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram were ready to battle James Harden and the rest of the Houston Rockets crew. Harden didn't waste no time with a clear pass to the slam town. Looks like the Lakers forgot to bring their defense as Eric Gordon takes it straight to the rim. And, but Julius Randle came to ball and threw it down with a left-hand slam. Harden wasn't done cooking as he grilled a three in Ball's face. Lakers showed heart as Ingram connected with Ball with a beautiful alley-oop. The Lakers managed to cut the deficit to 12 in the fourth, but Chris Paul has something to say about that with some nice handles in a three. The Lakers showing off their young talent as rookie Kyle Kuzma sneaks in a right-handed slam. The Rockets came out victorious as the score ended 118-95. Harden scored 36 points and Kuzma with 22 points. Ball seemed to struggle only scoring two points the entire game. In other basketball news, LeVar Ball told ESPN that he has pulled his son, Leangelo Ball, out of UCLA. Leangelo Ball, a freshman, is one of the three UCLA basketball players who were indefinitely suspended after a shoplifting incident in China. I'm going, to, I'm going to make him a way better for the draft than UCLA could have ever, said LeVar. UCLA coach Steve Alford issued a statement later Monday, quote, We learned today of Leangelo Ball's intention to withdraw from UCLA, he said. We respect the decision and he and his family have made, and we wish him all the best in the future, end quote. You have to stay tuned for more info on all things related to the Ball family. That'll do it for sports. Back to Stephanie and Rachel at the desk. Finals week is just days away for Cal State Fullerton students, and the campus is providing accommodations for students looking for a quiet place to study. Reporter Abby Fernandez is live on campus with all the updates. 
final weeks is here, guys. I know. How do we get here? I don't know, but we're here. It's next week already, but don't worry, guys. ASI has this all-night study series going on throughout this week and next week as well. So they've got you covered. They're going to de-stress for you. All sorts of things, guys. So check this out. There's going to be a lot of events. The first one is going to be Sumba. They're going to have some master class inclusively today and on um, the 11th of this month at 8 p.m. at the TSU Pavilion. Doors open at 7 p.m. for registration. They're also going to give a bunch of giveaways um, December 4th through the 11th, 10 p.m. to the um, 11 p.m. at the TSU Pavilions as well. They're going to have a candlelit yoga December 5th, 7.30 to 9 p.m. and also on the 13th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. at the SRC Dance Studio. Don't worry, there's more, guys. There's going to have... There's going to be the Glow Ride for those people that like cycling, December 8th, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Also at the SRC Spin Studio, there's going to be some power naps because we need those guys. We certainly do. Um, from the 11th to the 14th, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. and at night as well, 8.30 to 11.30 p.m. at the SRC Dance Studio. They're going to be uh, giving out some massages, guys. Yes, free massages, insane stuff. This is going to be on the 11th and on the 13th. On the 11th, it's going to be from 2 to 5 p.m. And on the 13th, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So three hours of that. And that's going to be at the TSU Fireside Lounge. That was the TSU Fireside Lounge. I said it twice so you don't miss out, guys, because those are free massages. There's going to be a prehistoric painting on the 12th of December, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the TSU Underground Pub. So right underneath where I'm at right now. And um, laser tag. There's going to be a cool hangout for laser tag. December 13th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Student Recreation Center, guys. So a bunch, a bunch of stuff. You can log on to the website. and They're going to um, have it all there, too. The TSU is going to be open 24 hours, guys, for your convenience. Friendliest place here at um, CSUF, of course, guys. So what can I say? Best of luck in the finals. Toss it back to you guys in the studio. Up next, popular makeup brands are being exposed for their animal testing tactics. And the fate of the Netflix hit show, House of Cards, has been revealed. We'll be back shortly. Recently, our country has witnessed catastrophic devastation. Hurricanes and flooding have upended lives and livelihoods. Across this great country, Americans have answered the call. That special calling that compels us when others are down to step up and do whatever it takes. America's at her best when, against all odds, we come together and lift each other up. Please donate to OneAmericaAppeal.org. America needs you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Many consumers are unaware that some of our everyday makeup choices have a dirty little secret. Sarah Hidalgo has worn the ugly truth in the cosmetic industry. These products are really fun to play with every day, but what a lot of consumers don't actually know is some of your daily makeup choices are actually not cruelty free. Two years ago, HR 2858, the Humane Cosmetics Act was introduced to the House in June of 2015. HR 2858 is to phase out cosmetic animal testing and the sale of cosmetics tested on animals. As of now, the United States is still one of the countries which allows companies who test on animals to sell their products in the U.S. Some makeup brands that consumers buy do test their products on animals when required by law. Companies like NARS, Clinique, Maybelline, and many others are not cruelty-free meaning they test their products on animals using the Animal Welfare Act standards enacted in 1966 by President Lyndon Johnson. There are companies who have made their own ethical decision to become cruelty-free and no longer sell to countries who require testing on animals. Brands like Lush, Too Faced, ColourPop, Tarte, Physicians Formula, and many others have opted out of animal testing. Ingrid Todd is a freelance makeup artist. I work for is very strict on cruelty free makeup. We don't test on any animals. Even our makeup brushes are cruelty free. Um, all of our packaging does include that. It has opened up my eyes for the makeup that I have for myself and for my clients. I like to provide the better one. When I'm in store, it also has brought so much awareness to clients. So how do consumers know if their brand is cruelty free or not? There are a couple ways. One, your packaging might have a pink and white bunny logo on it or you can visit the company's frequently asked questions 
and look under the animal testing tab. If you do see the words required by law, this does mean that the company tests on animals when required to. If you want to know more information, you can always visit cruelty-free-kitty.com or PETA.com. For OC News, I'm Sarah Hidalgo. Now for an update on what is happening in Hollywood. Laura Quinton has all the details. A final season for House of Cards will happen without Kevin Spacey. Netflix content chief Ted Sarandos announced that the show will continue with Robin Wright as the focal point of the show. Quote, we are excited to bring closure to fans, unquote, said Sarandos at the USB conference. The final season will be just eight episodes and will resume production in 2018. The production was put on hold when sexual misconduct allegations against Kevin Spacey came about. What will become of Spacey's character is to remain unseen. Our condolences go out to Elton John and his family with the passing of his mother, Sheila Fairbrother. She was 92. Elton John tweeted today, quote, So sad to say that my mother passed away this morning. I only saw her last Monday and I am in shock, unquote. His relationship with his mom was once cut off, but they resolved their differences and were back on good terms in 2016. On a lighter note, the TV show Dancing with the Stars came to an end, but don't worry, you'll be able to catch some of your favorite pros on tour. Max and Val Shmerkovsky and Peta Murgatroyd are going to be on live tour. Their show will be called Confidential, and tickets are available now on maxandvaltour.com. That's all I have for today. I'm Laura Quinton, back to you in the studio. That's it for this, this week's edition of OC News. Follow us on social media at OC News CSUF for continual on the latest breaking news in Orange County. I'm Stephanie Stevenson. And I'm Rachel Vito. We'll see you next time. OC News is sponsored in part by Univision Communications, Southwest Airlines, and Casanova McCann.